Hello and welcome back to TV 360 Nigeria's newsroom. I am Aneta Felix. Three persons have been killed in an accident involving a tipper loaded with granite and a Dangote truck on the Legacy Ibadan Expressway. The spokesperson for Traffic Compliance and Enforcement Corps in Ogun State, Babatunde Akinbi, said the accident occurred around 5.45 a.m. when the tipper driver lost control and rammed into the truck. President Muhammad Buhari says he is worried about the new waves of cybercrime and terrorism in Nigeria. Speaking at the annual investment meeting in Dubai, Buhari said these trends have continued to threaten the positive strides of his administration. He however noted that Nigeria has taken the lead in cyber policing in West Africa by working with regional and global partners. The federal government, through the Amnesty program, has reintegrated a fresh batch of 152 former Boko Haram militants into the society. The former militants, while in orientation camps, were put through various de-radicalization and reorientation programs to properly equip them with life skills. The Supreme Court has struck out the suit filed by Magnus Abbe, challenging the ruling of a federal high court which nullified the primaries of the All Progressives Congress in River State. In a unanimous judgment, the seven-man panel of the court, led by the acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, Ibrahim Mohamed, dismissed the application on the grounds that it lacks merit. Nigeria has signed a $523 million technical assistance agreement grant with the Islamic Development Bank Group in Marrakesh, Morocco. The Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, who signed the agreement on behalf of the country, explained that the grant will be used to address capacity building and equipment, as well as logistics upgrade in the Hajj Commission. On the foreign scene, Rwanda's President Paul Kagame has led a commemoration of a week-long solemn ceremonies to mark the 25th anniversary of the Rwandan genocide which claimed the lives of 800,000 Tutsis and moderate Hutus. Kagame led a, laid a writ on the Jisozi uh, genocide memorial site where over a quarter of a million people are buried. Later, a candlelight vigil was held in the packed National Soccer Stadium. In sports, the Nigerian Football Federation has pledged to assist former Nigerian captain and coach Christian Chuku to raise the sum of five, of fifty uh, million dollars to get fifty thousand dollars to get proper medical attention. Chuku captained the senior national team of Nigeria as they won their first ever African Cup of Nations title in 1980, receiving the brand new Unity Cup from then President Shehu Shagari. And that's it here for my newsroom on TV 360 Nigeria. Thanks for watching and bye for now.